I think we, you know, I think we're desperate for a win um, and to feel good about ourselves. Um, you know, I, I said, you know, you feel a lot better leaving the night, but it doesn't feel much better because you didn't win. And um, so, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I, I think we need to stay in the moment, stay in the day, and that time will come when that time comes and wherever we are, we'll play. What's your confidence level in the team going forward? What do you mean? Just in terms of, like, you know, you got a kind of question team. is that? <laughs> a, a, a legitimate question. I mean, I just, you know, nah. how do you feel about this team? Well, next question. Sometimes you give the answer to a question by not giving the answer to the question. I mean, look, I think for most of us, if it's not an issue, it's not an issue. There's an issue. I mean, look, Kyrie, uh, Morris, and then, you know, Danny's in the locker room. There were rumors about that and, and what's going on. I, I want to start with Coach because Brad Stevens, brilliant, such a good human being, working with people, X's and O's, all of that. But guess what? Now you're in Boston. The team looks like a disappointment, looks sort of dysfunctional at times. A lot of pressure right now on Brad Stevens, right? This is something new for Brad Stevens since he's come into the NBA. It's been a steady climb upward. He's been the golden boy coming in, draws great plays, coming out of timeouts. The team on a steady ride up. Development of the young players last year, the great run with two all-stars out, okay, Hayward and uh, Kyrie. Yet the young guys took them to the final moment of the Eastern Conference against Cleveland. So all this has been a plus. All this has been Brad Stevens showing what a great coach he is. But now he had to face the same pressure that the team is facing. The expectation level going into the season was Boston may be the best team in the Eastern Conference. Boston will be in the finals. And now because of all the things that have gone on there and because of the pressure of being in that favorite role, he has to deal with that at well. Not only does he, does he have to continue to coach and teach and develop, but then he has to handle the locker room, what's going on in the locker room, handle the media and try and keep all that calm as they lose games. Remember, when you lose one game, maybe two in a row, you're not answering negative questions for a long period of time. When you get to the fourth loss in a row, you start to say the same things over and over again, and it becomes tougher for the players. They don't want to answer tough questions. Yeah, look, when Kyrie wanted to separate from LeBron, whatever happened or didn't, wanted that opportunity to then lead, right? He's talked about, hey, thanking LeBron, understanding now how difficult that is. That question, though, of whose team it is, is it fair or not to still keep asking that to Coach's point, G, when you think about what Tatum was and those kids like Rozier and really nobody finding that role that they're supposed to have? I think Hayward took three shots overall in 27 minutes tonight. Yeah, I mean, this, this team is, is a bit disjointed. And, and just, you know, it's interesting. I thought, obviously, last year, this time last year, Kyrie had been playing. Uh, the younger guys were, were in different roles. And obviously, once he left, they went to the playoffs. They had to learn to play together. Everyone stepped their play up, and they were fantastic. And so as now you have, you know, a Kyrie Irving coming back. You add a, a Gordon Hayward who's trying to find his way. And you have players who, who've tasted some success. And, uh, you know, and so it's just trying to make all that work. We all kind of felt it would take some time. But I think by now you felt like they would have figured it out. And instead of coming together as a group, it, it, it appears as if they're – they're sort of fragmenting, and, and, and that's alarming. I, I was at the game. I did the game last night in Toronto. Uh, they came out in that first quarter. They played them tough and then just sort of imploded there in the second quarter. The body language, the spirit, uh, the, the lack of energy and enthusiasm against the team that you may see in the, in the conference finals or in the playoff run, a Toronto Raptors. Do you think they would circle the calendar and be ready for that game? And so... You know, there's, a, there's an expression somebody said the other day, it's not X's and O's, it's Jack's and Joe's. And I just feel like that locker room is just, it's not together. And they need to figure that out quickly. They need to figure it out. Or if not, they won't fare well in the postseason, and that roster may look different going into next year.